So, Watch Dogs 2. The original game, Watch Dogs 1 if that's what you want to call it, was greatly anticipated, there was much hype built around it, and then the game didn't do so well once it had released. Ubisoft have rolled the emerging franchise around for another attempt, taking a new creative approach, swapping Chicago, Illinois for San Francisco, California, but following a similar backstory to last time. San Fran is the latest city to adopt the CTOS technology, and the hackers are determined once again to bring it crashing down. Watch Dogs 2 sees us play out the story of Marcus Holloway. He's a young hacker who's become the latest victim of CTOS's predictive algorithms and is being accused of a crime that he hasn't committed. He joins the hacktivist group called DeadSec, and players of the original game will be familiar with that name. DeadSec is a global group of hackers within the Watch Dogs universe, and San Francisco is one of their cell locations. On Marcus's quest, you'll be able to hack into city infrastructure, as you could in the last game, but this time, apparently there will be more options available to you. You can hack and interact with cars, drones, robots, cranes, and even other citizens. You can get people attacked or arrested, hack into their car and drive it over the edge of a drop, or make them steer in the wrong direction. You can even manipulate objects in the environment to gain an advantage. There's a new movement system that's almost like parkour, it does look very fluid, meaning getting objects in the right place could get you out of trouble. Any connected device in the city is hackable and can be used as you see fit. As you follow the story of Marcus, you can level up your abilities and skills to suit your playstyle and upgrade your hacker tools, things like the quadcopter drones and 3D printed weaponry. Sounds pretty cool. The map of San Francisco will be split into six different suburbs, so you've got Downtown, Civic, Coast, Oakland, Marin and Silicon Valley. Each of these suburbs will have their own unique art style which draws from its real-life counterpart. So for example, Silicon Valley has a lot of students and tech company campuses, while in downtown there will be lots of skyscrapers, lots of construction, and there's even Fisherman's Wharf located on the map as well. In terms of actual gameplay, it seems that Ubisoft are introducing a new stealth aspect to the game, where you can make the choice about how you want to approach a certain situation. Does that sound familiar? Stealth has been a big thing in open world games recently, and they're deciding to add it into Watch Dogs 2. You can hack stealthily and work your way through missions without killing a single enemy if you don't want to, or you can go in Rambo style, all guns blazing. It's apparently possible to complete missions without even moving from the spot that you're standing in, and you can hack your way to completing it instead. I'm not sure if that would make for extremely fun gameplay. It might be fun to see what you could do with the hacking, but I'd kind of want a balance between the two, hacking some things and moving around to complete the mission. The game will feature a campaign story mode and a multiplayer experience as well, but they're blended together, so it's this seamless online multiplayer, single player campaign mix that Ubisoft seem to be going for in all of their open world games at the moment. The multiplayer will be directly integrated into the single player, so there's no reloading of the map, there's no menus that you have to move around in. Basically, it's always online, and whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. Now, I mentioned this at the start of the video, let's be real here for a second. The initial Watch Dogs game was underwhelming to say the least, it was plagued with issues and is probably the starting point for the downgrade comments that now haunt every single developer every time they show gameplay of something. People were excited to try out this huge open world, something that looked awesome in previous trailers, but when it came out, people felt extremely let down. Now Watch Dogs 2 needs to absolutely nail it when it comes to showing people what to expect. And from the trailer that you can see here, and the footage that's in the background as well, some gameplay just with the HUD removed, I have to say that the game does look very good right now. You only need to look at the first few comments on the reveal trailer to know that people are already expecting for this to look worse when it releases. I don't think people are going to stand for that anymore, so let's best hope that this is what the game looks like when it comes out. 
The game will be releasing on the Xbox One, the PS4 and the PC on November 15th, which means if the rumours of the new Sony and Microsoft consoles are to be believed, this game is set to miss the graphical bump that those systems will provide. Now, it will be interesting to see just how much has changed in Watch Dogs 2 in comparison to its older brother. It's only been a couple of years since that was released, and I think people have got preconceptions in their heads already. I certainly do, and I will be very cautious about the game moving forward, but I am looking forward to seeing more of this game. Hopefully we get to see more at E3, which is now less than a week away. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your first look at Watch Dogs 2. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about this game. I'm staying cautious for now. I want to see some proper gameplay first. And while you're down there in the comments, drop me a like as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.